This is my geometry course. Today we're going to take part two of the final test. In the previous class we did a practice test together and I gave you a practice test for homework. Don't take this test unless you've completed that practice test uh, completely and correctly. Uh, now as I mentioned for uh, previous exams, I don't really care how long it takes you to finish. It may take you an hour or five hours. But uh, this test, part two, is particularly long. I think there's multiple parts for almost every problem. I tried to keep the test as short as I could, but there's a lot to cover in the second half of the course. Now, if you took the practice test, you know what it's going to be like. So it's very, very similar. It's, it's pretty much the same size as the practice test, so you know what, uh, what to expect. If you want to take a lunch break in between, then that's fine. Some students may uh, find that useful to take a break. You don't have to, but uh, that's fine if you want to do that. Now, I've said it before, I'll say it again. These practice tests will hopefully ensure that you pass this test, the practice test that I gave you, but it's not going to guarantee you that you, you'll get an A or a B. If you want to get a really high score, you have to go back and actually study everything that we learned in the second half of the course. Uh, so I don't, I don't need to tell you. I've told you before. Now, as usual, uh, you have your directions here. You will need a calculator, so make sure you have your calculator out. And uh, if you have graphing paper, that would be optimal that that would make it uh, a lot easier and this test is worth a hundred points as you know so that said let's take screenshots of the actual test here's screenshot number one and number two and number three and number four And number five, number six, and number seven, and number eight. So go ahead and take the test. Uh, you should have nothing uh, in front of you. Um, no, no textbook, no help from anybody, no internet, just uh, what you need to actually uh, write your answers and show your work. So go ahead and take the test, pause the video, write down the time code, um, and uh, when you restart the video, uh, we'll talk about how to score and grade your test, and we'll look at the answers, obviously. So pause the video and go ahead and uh, take the test, and I'll see you when you come back. All right, we're back. Do not look at the answers for the test unless you've taken the test. There's no point for this test if, uh, if you just look at the answers. The point of the test is to figure out if you actually know something. So, uh, but if you finish the test completely, go ahead and take a picture of these uh, answers. That's screenshot number one. Here's screenshot number two. Those are the answers. So now we're going to score your test. Here's the guidelines, and you don't really need me to, uh, to show you this. Uh, in the previous classes, I don't think I mentioned that if you don't round your answer uh, correctly, you do want to subtract some points for that because you're going to be expected to round if given directions to do so. Um, but this is all just the same stuff that you've seen. So use this as uh, your, your guidelines uh, and go ahead and score your test. And uh, when you come back, We'll talk about how to grade the test. Um, so go ahead and score it, pause the video, write down the time code, and when you're done, we'll uh, pick up here. So I'll see you when you get back. 
All right, we're back. So I don't really need to show you this because you've seen it multiple times. If you scored in the green, good job. And uh, in the next class, we're going to talk about how to give yourself a score and a grade for the entire course. At this point, you are now done with the in entire uh, geometry curriculum. So that was geometry. And uh, that's a very important point in your math education. So you should be proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. Good job. And uh, I'll see you in the next class.